Hello? Have we got everybody? Is everybody there? Alright. Good. Thanks for coming, guys. So, I gotta get my clipboard. That's what firefighters carry, apparently, right? So, my name is Darren Carr. I'm a firefighter here in Morris. I'm a volunteer firefighter. In case you're wondering, no, I'm not a police officer. We have these kind of uniforms that we wear for special occasions. And I thought today was a special occasion too. We also have white ones too. So if anybody thought I was a police officer, I'm not, that won't really get picked up, okay? We're here, to, we're here to help just like those guys are. So we're a volunteer fire department here in town, which means that we've chosen to help people, right? Like you guys. And this week is Fire Prevention Week, so we're volunteering our time to try and teach you guys how to be fire safe, okay? So we've got a show this here for you. I've never done this before, so I hope it's a lot of fun. I think you guys will like it. And we actually have some volunteers in the crowd that we're gonna call up to help us do some of the show, okay? So some of you guys' as classmates are gonna help us do some of this stuff. So that should be fun. Hopefully that'll help you guys remember what we're talking about here, right? So we're just gonna go through a couple of rules, pretty simple. This year's message for fire prevention is look, listen, learn, be aware, fire can happen anywhere, okay? So for, as far as the show goes, I'm gonna say that the look, listen, and learn part applies to you guys too, okay? And when we get into it, we'll, we'll tell you more about it, but if you guys are sitting in your chairs and you're looking up at the stage, you're gonna end up learning what we're trying to teach you, right? So if you can sit still and sit good, then your neighbor will be able to see too, right? Okay, same with the listening part. So some of the stuff we're gonna want you to be able to hear and you're gonna want your neighbor to be able to hear. Because when you get done with this, guess what, every one of you guys, you're gonna be the teachers. Okay, so you can teach your brothers, your sisters, your aunts, your parents, your grandparents, some of the stuff that, you te that we're gonna teach you guys, okay? So you guys will be the experts, all right? But it isn't all just gonna be sitting in a chair, oh my gosh, when is this gonna be done? We need to have some fun too, right? Yeah. Right? All right, so there's gonna be times where we can talk and yell, and I'm gonna give you a signal, kinda like Simon says, sort of, right? Like firefighters, we like doing signals, we talk on CVs and stuff, right? So my signal to you guys is I'm gonna say stuff like, right kids, and I'll go like this, and then, ah, yeah, right, cool, man, yeah. Okay, so that means you can get loud, but then when I start talking again, then I want you guys to put your, your eyes back into look mode and your ears back into listen mode, okay? So should we practice that real quick before we get started? You already got it, okay. So I'm gonna say, are we gonna have fun today? You guys, are they this loud on the playground or louder? They're louder, I think you guys can get loud. Let's try it again, all right, all right. You guys gonna have fun today? Alright, I like that. That sounds good. So I got some friends here today that are going to help me from the fire department too. And I think they might be ready. Hang on, let me check. You guys ready back here? Hey, put that thought down. We're not cops. I just got that thought of I'm not a cop. We're firefighters. Come on. Okay, you guys ready? Put the coffee down started. Alright, they're ready. They're ready. You guys ready? Here we go. We even got Sparky today. How about that? 
Alright, so now we're going to have some more fun. We're going to learn some few things here. Was that pretty cool? Yeah. Uh, good. Alright, so we were talking the uh, fire prevention message this year. There's a banner out front, and it's look, listen, learn, be aware, fire can be anywhere, right? It can happen anywhere. So we're going to go through each part, okay? So the first part is look. So we need to look where fire could happen, right? So you guys are kind of like, you guys are kind of like detectives, okay? So we're going to have you guys, we're asking you guys to watch for this stuff and be aware of stuff. So like an example would be if mom or dad is cooking on the stove, right? And maybe they've got a, a towel or something too close to the stove. You can point that out to them and say, mom, dad, hey, it looks like that towel is kind of close to the stove. We just learned that might start on fire. Could you move that over a little bit, okay? But now the like, key is, ask them to move it, or just point it out so that they start seeing this stuff too, okay? And the other thing would be, make sure you give the stove top lots of room, okay? I know you guys like to help and stuff, but not only could it start a fire, maybe you guys could get burned if we're getting too close to the stove and stuff, okay? So that's one of the look things, okay? So the other thing would be, this time of year, a lot of people like to sit around campfires, right? Who here likes to sit around a campfire? Me too. Everybody likes s'mores and stuff, right? So we gotta be careful when we're around campfires because if we get too close, our clothes could start on fire, right? Or maybe we throw something in the fire and it pops out at us. We gotta be real careful when we're around the campfire, okay? And we're gonna talk more about that in a little bit, about what to do if we get too close to that campfire and our clothes maybe start on fire, okay? So, the other part of the book, and I've got something here for you guys, is what to do when we see matches and lighters, okay? I don't know if you guys know what matches and lighters are. Yeah? All right. So, I mean, this is not a real match, right? This is a really big one, so you guys can all see it from up here. But matches kind of look like this, but they're smaller, they're in a box. Okay. This is a lighter, sometimes these are campfire lighters, and they look a little bit different, okay? But if you see this stuff, what we're asking you guys to do is to treat that like it's a tool, okay? So when you see this stuff, if you see this stuff laying around, even though it's the real ones are smaller, right? Think of this, when you see this, I want you to see a chainsaw, okay, or a jackhammer, right? Stuff that you guys probably wouldn't touch, maybe you know is dangerous, right? Your parents would probably scold you if, if you saw it, right? So if you think of these like tools, then what we do if we find them is we tell a grown right? That's what we're asking you guys to do. So when we're looking around, we see this stuff, <clears throat> we don't want to touch it and move it. What we'd rather have you do is go tell a grown and say, hey, I see there's some tools, matches and lighters, sitting around, could you put them up and move them, put them away like we put our tools away, right? So if you guys can do that, that would be super helpful. So I'm gonna put these up away so nobody gets it, right? So we have a song and we have a game after the song that we will need a volunteer for. So before I play the song, let's find the volunteer. Let's pick a first grader. How about Brecken? When we get done with the song, Brecken, could you kind of come down here by the steps and we'll bring you up? Sound good? All right, so before that, we got a little song for you. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. This is about matches and lighters.
understand the words, but they're singing. If you find matches, if you find relators, tell a grown up, right? All right, how about Gretchen, where are you at? Are you coming down here? Come on down, buddy. You're gonna be the first contestant in. Are you smarter than a firefighter? You're over there. <laughs> you ever played this game? Are you smarter than a firefighter? No? Okay. <laughs> We're gonna have a little game over here. I got three firefighters. They're each gonna have a, a item, okay? So, Brent, you got the drill? You bring that? Okay, well come out here. These guys will come out here. You're gonna stand by me right here. All right. All right, these guys are gonna line up, okay? So, Neil's got this item here. That's Kevin, and that's Brent. Okay, can you tell me what that item is? Can everybody see what he's holding up? This is Neil, the first guy. A car, you got it, okay. And then Kevin's got, oh my a match, that's right. And what's Brent holding up? Whoa, that's a big drill, right? All right, good job, you're doing great so far. So far, all the answers are correct. Now, for the main question, can you identify, can you tell me which one of those is a toy? The car! Alright! We have a gift, we have a prize for you after the show, okay? Alright, you can go back to your seat. Thanks, Brackett. Give him a big hand for coming up here. You are great volunteers. Good job. Alright. Well, this is going pretty good so far, I think. So the next one, the next part of this message is gonna be the the listen part. I don't know what just happened, we got a little small. Should we get the fire extinguisher? Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right, so the next part of this is listen, right? So we talked about look, we're gonna try and find things, right? We're gonna be aware of stuff, watch out for things, stuff going up if you see things. This part is the listen part of it, okay? So, you guys know what this is? It rhymes with, Joke selector. I think I've heard somebody say it. Smoke alarm, smoke detector, right. Everybody knows what this sounds like? Beep, beep, beep. You ready to hear it? I'm gonna I'm gonna play it for you. Hey. Yeah? Good. So here's we're gonna go through, alright. We're gonna go through smoke detectors real quick. And I think you guys have probably heard this a little bit before, right? But we need to have your parents, this is where you get to be teachers and get homework. You get home tonight and you give your parents some homework, okay? Tell them they need to check these smoke detectors in your house, right? You should have one on every floor. And really, we'd like to see one in everybody's bedroom. So if you don't have one in your bedroom or you need one, have your parents get a hold of the fire department. We can get you one, okay? So. Have your parents push the little button and you'll hear the beep, okay? And we're gonna elaborate, we're gonna go more into that later, but at least have them check this. And we should be doing that every month, okay? Now the other thing is, these smoke detectors have batteries in them, right? Some of them are wired in your house, but usually they all have batteries, okay? And those need to be changed every six months. So do you guys know that we change the clocks in the spring, in the fall? Right, we fall back, spring ahead, and they change the clocks. That's when we tell parents, and you need to tell your parents, if you can, to change the battery. And like yesterday, did anybody have the fire trucks bring pizza to their house? Yes, and we gave out batteries, right? So this Saturday, it's more homework for your parents. Tell your parents that on Saturday, we'll be at Town & Country from 10 to 11, and we're gonna hand out batteries. Okay, so there's no excuse why they can't put a new battery in, right? And have them do it this week. It's a good week to do it. A week before the clocks change. So, you got some homework to deal with. Why, why do we need to change the batteries so much? So they don't die. So a smoke detector is always working. Always working. There's like a little nose in here, sniffing away, looking for smoke. Always working. So, I don't remember the last time I changed my batteries in my TV remote. It's just a big difference. The TV only uses the battery when you turn it on or turn the channel. 
right? But this thing, its nose is working all the time. So that battery just drains and drains and drains. That's why we gotta keep replacing them, okay? So these are different than your TV remote, okay? The other thing about smoke detectors is they're always on the ceiling. And the reason they're on the ceiling is because, oh, hopefully that's gonna work. The reason they're on the ceiling is because smoke goes, ah, it raises, right? So, smoke in a room, it's gonna go up to the ceiling, it can't go any higher than the ceiling, because there's a ceiling, right? And then it starts working its way closer and closer and closer to the ground, okay? So what we want you to do, if the smoke detector goes off, odds are there's smoke in the house. And if you need to leave, we want to get low and crawl low, because the good air is going to be down here, and the smoke is going to be above you, okay? Guess what? We've got a song about this as well. So, are you ready for these guys to come back out for another song? All right. Are you guys ready for another song? I can't hear you. <laughs> All right, here we go. Detector 
and the learn kind of go together because the learn is learn two ways out of every room, okay? So, and have two ways out of your house. So we want you guys to give your parents a homework assignment about having an exit plan, okay? And an exit plan means knowing what we're gonna do if the smoke detector goes off and there's a fire in our house, where we're gonna go, so we need to have a safe meeting place outside. That's right, good job. So, we wanna stay low, crawl out of the house, know two ways out, right? We wanna get out and stay out, and we're gonna help have some games here to help you guys remember this stuff, okay? So, let's see. How about, we got a kindergarten volunteer. How about Peyton? Is Peyton from kindergarten, you wanna come up here? All right, come on up here. Let me get the microphone for you so everybody can hear you. This one, this one shouldn't be too bad. Ah, thanks for coming up. See your name, see your name? Ethan. Ethan, all right. All right, Ethan. So, we're in a room, right? We want to find two ways out of every room. Can you point to, or tell me, two ways out of this room that we're in right now? Um, use the door. Okay, so there's one there. Is there another one that you see? Up there. Up there? How many, how many ways out do you see in here? Three. Three? Yes, I'd say there's at least three. Very good. So, when you go home, when you're at home, you think about when you're in your room, what are two ways out of my house? Do you think you have two ways, or sorry, out of your room? Do you think you have two ways out of your room? Which two? Um, my window. That's one. What's the other one? Door. The door. Exactly, guys. That's awesome. Good job. We got a prize for you afterwards, okay? And we'll get it to you. So, I think we'll have you go back down and sit in your chair. Thanks for coming up. So, you got a door and a window in the room. That counts, right? That's two ways out. If you're on the second floor, you may want to have to have safety ladders. So if you have to go out a window, then you can climb down safely. If you're on the first floor, you can probably just get out pretty easy, right? You gotta use the window. The other thing about windows is if you're on a second floor, if nothing else, go to the window so that if you're in there, we know we can get to you right away, okay? You can be up there waving, there's gonna be air there, staying low, right? So that's the two ways out of every room, okay? So, the exit plan. Timeout, I gotta call a timeout. I forgot a, I forgot a piece of this. So, when you go to a safe place, how many people here have a safe place and an exit plan? How about you, sir? You tell me what your, what's your safe place? Where do you wait at? Outside. Outside, okay. So what we want to have with a safe place, it's going to be something permanent, which means it never moves, right? So like the mailbox never moves. Do trees move? Like, are they here one day and then you come out and they're over here? You're like, oh, that's weird. How did that tree move, right? No, oh, that never happens. The trees always stay in one place. Your neighbor's house could be another one, okay? So more homework for your parents. When you go home, you can talk to them about what's our safe place? Where do we go if we have to go outside? Because we want everybody to go to one place, right? Just like you do a fire drill here. You guys probably line up, right? The teacher makes sure everybody's here, okay, there's probably a, right? And then you all go outside and probably go to a parking lot, right? There we go, now we got our prop. Thanks, EJ. He's Superman, see that? <laughs> so this would be a really good spot. If you have a mailbox that's not attached to your house, that looks like this, maybe out by the road, these make good places for meeting places, okay? Or a tree, something that doesn't move. A car, you can't do that. A car might be there one day, it might be on the next day, right? So, think about having a, a safe meeting place. What else? Okay, so we did the crawl low, right? We did the crawl low because the smoke goes up. We've got a safe meeting place. Peyton helped us with the two ways out. 
I think we need two volunteers. We need two volunteers up here to help us show us how we go from smoke detector to safe place. How about Lauren? How about you come up here? That's how you sit here. How about you come up here? And how about Matthias? Matthias? You want to come up here too? All right. All right. Come over here. We're going to get some firefighters out here. All right. You guys want to come out with your smoke? You guys, you can come over here. All right. All right. Matthias, right? Yeah? Okay. Lauren? So here's the deal. We're going to have you guys do a challenge, okay? So I'm going to take this chirp, okay? That's the smoke detector going off. Then you guys are going to crawl underneath. The black plastic's going to be the smoke, okay? we got to crawl low. And then you're going to go to the safe place, like if you're exiting your house, okay? So you think you can crawl under that? We'll do one at a time, okay? You stand right here, my guys. You want to go first? No? You want to go first? Yeah, you go first. You show everybody what to do. Here, hang on. Wait till you hear this go off, okay? Okay, meet us in a safe place. We're waiting by the mailbox. Now it's your turn. Time to get out. You got to crawl low under the smoke. Go to the safe place. Good job, guys. Good man. All right. Well, I've got prizes for both of you, okay? We'll give them to you afterwards. Thank you. You want to hug? Oh. All right. All right. So you guys think you can do that? That makes sense, right? We got to cross flow on the smoke. Get to our safe place. All right. Good deal. How about if we have two kids that are big kids, sorry, sorry. Our, we've got two big kids that are firefighters that are gonna show you something else, okay? I'm gonna set, I'm gonna set the stage for them. You want that other chair? <laughs> These guys are gonna, we're gonna pretend that they're like fifth grade, okay? And this is CJ, this is Kevin, okay? We're at Kevin's house. Kevin's got the video game station, if that's even probably not cool and tells me how old I am right now, then I don't call it that anymore, probably. He's got the video game station. CJ brought his video game over, he's got a brand new video game, okay? And they're like fifth grade. He knows the house. CJ is the guest, he's not been in this house, he doesn't really know what what's going on, okay? So, they're gonna have a problem, and we're gonna see how they react, okay? You guys got it? You guys want a mic? You got your mics? I think we're at my house. Yeah. We're gonna flip it now? Yeah, okay. Okay, so Kevin's the guest, he doesn't know what's going on. CJ does. Kevin brought the cool new game. Okay, let's see how this unfolds. Hey, CJ. Okay. Yeah. 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 Right. Hey, Fortnite's awesome. Yeah. 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 Fortnite. yeah. Uh oh. Um, yeah. You smell something? Oh my goodness. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. No, tell me. Come back. Don't you remember what Darren called it? What? Get low. Okay. We have to find you. We got two ways out. We can't go that way. We got to go. Let's go that way for the 80s, Bob. So should we stand up and run or? No. Remember, stop learning to listen. Crawl out to the meeting spot. Okay. Check the door. Okay. This is kind of scary. Yeah, don't be scared. Remember what we learned at fire prevention. All right. Yeah. Oh, here we are at the meeting spot. Wow. Now we'll just wait for the fire department to show up. Yeah. Wow. Hey, thanks for taking care of me in there. Yeah. Thanks, kid. Thanks for bringing your Xbox over. Yeah. So we do. Very good. Very good. So they got out. They stayed out. And they were safe, right? They didn't go back in to get their brand new video game. They didn't go back and get their Xbox or any of that, okay? 
So part of this is when we hear a smoke detector, if there's, we know there's smoke. The smoke detector doesn't go off if there isn't smoke. It only goes off if the battery is dead and that sounds different, okay? So then we know we gotta get out and we're probably gonna crawl low, right? Especially if there's a lot of smoke, we're definitely gonna crawl low. Two ways out, to our safe place, and then the big thing is get out, stay out. We can replace video games. Every one of you guys is unique and special, right? To everybody that knows you. You can't be replaced. But a video game, a video game can be, right? We can replace that stuff. So, all right. That is everything on the message part of it. Now we've got a couple other things I think you guys should learn, okay? So, if you close catch fire, we want to do the stop, drop, and roll, right? Yeah. All right. So, when you do stop, drop, and roll, maybe I can get one of the guys from back there to come out here so I don't crunch this microphone. When we do stop, drop, and roll, we want to stop because if we move around and go crazy, that's going to make the flames get bigger, okay? So we'll stop, and then we're going to drop down, and we want to cover our face, okay? And then we're going to roll. And the reason you cover your face is so that the flames can't get across your face and burn your cheeks or anything like that, okay? So Neil just showed you how to do stop, drop, and roll. So I'm going to need, I think, like four, how many volunteers we got left here? I think we're going to need, like, four volunteers come up here and help us. How about Liam? Did we have Brecken already? Brecken already had How about we have Liam, Jack, Evan, and Reagan come up here? All right. We'll go right here. You guys stand right by the mailbox. We're gonna have two at a time, okay? So do you guys think you can do stop, drop, and roll? Now that you saw how it's done? Think you can do it? So I'm gonna ask you guys to show all these kids how to do it. And we're gonna go two at a time, okay? And there's gonna be firefighters helping you as well, all right? Firefighters, you wanna come out and show up a little bit too? They're gonna start, and then you guys are gonna join in, and we'll grab you when it's time to go out there, okay? Here you go, guys, another song. You ready for another song? Yeah! All right, let's go away. Here we go. Stop where they're at, drop and roll. Make sure you cover your face, okay? 
So the last thing that we're going to go over is a little bit about firefighters, okay? So firefighters, all of us in Morris, we're volunteer firefighters. That means we don't live down at the fire hall, right? So we have regular jobs, and to me, what it kind of reminds me of is Superman. Does anybody here know Superman? Kind of who he is? All right. Well, here's a little, here's a little something to get us into the theme of Superman. So he worked at a newspaper, right? So he had a job during the day. And he had superpowers. He could jump over buildings and he could lift buses and stuff. We can't do that, unfortunately. But we have tools that can help us do some of that. But he had a day job that he went to every day. And then he had like super hearing, right? So he'd go, oh, I hear somebody's in trouble. And take off his coat and they'd have this shirt on, it looks like CJ, and he'd go fly over to the emergency, right? Because he wanted to help somebody. So that's what, that's what we do. The only difference is we can't hear somebody yelling that they're having a problem, right? So what we do is we carry a pager, right? And we can't have all our cool uniform underneath our clothes because our cool uniforms are too heavy. So if there's an emergency, our pager goes off, it kind of sounds like this, okay? All right, and that tells us, uh-oh, somebody's in trouble, okay? So then we want to go down to the fire hall and put on our gear. And this is what we hear on the pager to tell us where we're going. Page for more fire, page for more fire, uh, smoke alarm at FDM, zone 428, northern location available, smoke alarm, FDM, zone. Okay, it's kind of hard to hear, right? But the whole thing was there, they're telling us what the emergency is and where it's at. Smoke alarm, at SCMC, that's the hospital in town, right? So we could be eating breakfast, we could be in the shower, we could be at our job, because we work normal jobs just like your parents during the day. We drop what we're doing, and we run down to the fire hall, right? Just like Superman, only we have to put our gear on, we don't take our coat off and have our uniform on underneath, okay? So, that's a little bit of the difference between Superman and us. But here's all our cool gear, and CJ's gonna put it on so you guys can see what it looks like. Okay, because the one thing that we also want is for you guys to think and know that we are your friends, right? Because what does a friend do? They're there for you when you need help. They're always there for you. So we're firefighters, right? You guys are back, you need help, we're gonna be there for you. So, CJ's gonna put his gear on. These are bunker pants. They are insulated on the inside. They're not fireproof. They got insulation to try and keep us from getting burned, okay? And the outside of these, is waterproof. So water, because we tend to put water on fires, we don't want to get all soaking wet, right? Because then we get cold and it just feels icky. So, and then we've got the same thing with our coat, is made out of the same material. So this is what CJ has to do when he goes down to the hall. Then we've got these hoods that we put over our heads, and that helps cover skin. So when he has all this gear on, you're gonna see, he's gonna have like no skin showing. And that's to prevent us from getting burned, okay? So he's got his hood on, he's got his coat on, lots of pockets, lots of things to carry our tools with, right? This is still CJ. He's still the same guy you've seen dancing around here. He was the guy doing the flossing, like you were talking about earlier, right? He's just our buddy. He's a dad. He's a son. He's a friend. So here's where it gets a little bit scary, can be. We gotta put our air mask on, right? because we talked about falling low, the smoke rises. When we go into a house, we can't breathe that smoke. 
okay? So we have masks and air packs to help us to be able to breathe when we're in the smoke, okay? So, you want to on? So it's still CJ out of there. He's just starting to look a little bit different because he's got to put all his safety gear on, right? So now what we're going to say is, never fear a firefighter in his gear, right? Because we're there to help him. So if we have to come in, if you're stuck in the smoke and you need help, we're going to come in the house and we're going to look like this. We're not going to look like the guys on the stage that you saw today. We're going to look a little bit different. So now you can hear him, he's breathing fresh air, right? So we can do, we can go into smoke. But what's interesting is, when we go into a house that's full of smoke, we still go in low, like we were telling you guys to go in low, because everything in the smoke is really hot, and we don't like being in that, okay? So even when we go into a house, if we're gonna put out a fire, we're all down like this, crawling low. So remember, if there's that much smoke in your house, you need to be crawling low, okay? So this is what CJ sounds like, a little bit different. Say hello. So his voice actually comes out of this kind of microphone right here. Can you hear what he sounds like? He sounds different. He sounds different, okay? But do not be afraid of the firefighter in his gear. Okay, so if he comes in the house, what we need is for you guys to make a lot of noise because he's going to be probably crawling on the ground and he's going to be saying stuff like, Morris Fire Department, anybody in here? Oh, oh, you can hear him. Yeah. I'm over here, I'm over here, right? That's what we want to hear when you guys, if we have to come in, hopefully you got low got out and he stayed out, right? And we don't have to come in there. Thanks, CJ. Still the same dude, right? Still the same guy. You wanna help out of that? Or All right, so we'll watch him transform back into CJ, right? He's gonna go back into Clark Kent mode. Oh, he's gonna change back here, all right. He'll come back out and you'll see he's the same guy, okay? So, what did I, what did I forget? You guys have homework. Did anybody remember what their homework is for their parents? It's not for you guys, it's for your parents. Should we go through it one more time? Okay. Smoke detectors, check them, right? Mom and Dad, check the smoke detector. Put a new battery in it while you're checking it. Let's have a fire drill at home so I know where I gotta go, right? And if they're ringing the fire alarm, you might as well crawl low and go to your safe place, okay? Take the time to do that. All right? Okay, stop, drop, and roll. That's for you guys. That's for you guys to remember, okay? So, what did you think of the program? Did you have fun? Yeah! All right. I need to probably, I wonder if I should get the prizes for the volunteers, or maybe they could come up here. Can we take a picture with them if we got a, okay. We'll get the volunteers down here. Why don't we think? all these firefighters that came and helped us today. All right. This is a prize for you for helping us, okay? You can put it on your backpack if you want, all right? There you go. Yeah, if you can, we'll take the picture. There you are. You're welcome. Yeah, you're welcome. There you go, man. Thanks for coming up and helping. Yeah, if you can, you guys want to get in here with a picture? Thanks everybody. Thanks guys for coming.
Come stand by the door, you guys can go here. 